Well, John, walk us through this one. A bit of a slow start in the first period, just three shots, but everything seemed to open up in the second and third. You come away with the game-winning goal. It had to be nice to, to get these crucial two points in the division standings. Yeah, Joey, we came out pretty dead, and uh, that was obvious. But I think, uh, you know, weathering the storm a little bit, coming out one nothing, we felt, uh, you know, obviously was, we had to pick it up and ramp up the intensity and ramp up the battles. And uh, I think we did that in the second, kind of established our game a little bit more. And then... Uh, a nice play by Gags to Forts, uh, got us going a little bit and then kind of stuck with the game and then uh, lucky to get one there in the third and hang on. So that's uh, road hockey. I think it's, uh, you know, you're not always your best, but I think we found a way to grind it out and make it happen. Was there anything said or done in that intermission break that, you know, maybe just shook off the, the plane legs, the travel legs a little bit from that first into the second period? Cause it seemed like from that point on, you had the game pretty much in good control. Yeah, the message is clear, of course, and, uh, you know, we knew too, we're pros and, we know, uh, you know, we know when we're not playing our best, and we know when we need to give more. And I think that was one of those situations. Um, you know, we didn't have enough juice, and you know, we had to ramp it up. And I think we did a good job of that. And you know, um, you know, we're just trying to get as many points as possible, Joey. We come on the road here. You know, tough game, it's tough travel, and getting two points is huge. Now you're looking at your game-winning goal in the third period. Walk us through that one. It seems like the chemistry that you've had with the Secure Brothers has been fantastic. Now goals in four straight for you. Dylan, a nice little nine-game point streak for eight-game point streak for him. Lucas Carlson, four-game assist streak. It just seems like whenever you need points, the chemistry that you guys have seems to generate it. Yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's what we got to do. We have a you know good group of players there. I think we have everything you kind of need to have a line that produces, uh, but tie up the middle and me and Dill. So... Um, you know, and I think that's something we uh, expect out of ourselves and, uh, you know, kind of put the onus on ourselves to produce and make it happen for the boys. You know, and the offense isn't coming and, you know, we're not creating as many chances. Uh, you know, as a whole, I think we, we feel like we can go out there and, and uh, you know, spark it with one shift or, you know, make something happen to put it in the back of the net. And that's what good players do. And, um, you know, we got to try to continue to do what we're doing in that respect. And, uh, you, know, that'll, you know, that'll help us a lot. How do you keep your play from the second and third period rolling over into tomorrow? A quick turnaround, rematch, series finale, and again, more points up for grabs in the division. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, These games are huge. So, uh, you know, you can see how tight the standings are, and um, you know, we're going to come out the same way like uh, we did in the second and third and try to play a solid game, you know, have a little bit more energy and uh, be all over the puck and try to play in the Ozone. That's, uh, that's our game, and when we do that, we're a good team. So we're going to stick to that.